Nitsuke, a piece of art that fits in your palm, an art form unique to Japan. Their elaborate craftsmanship and ingenious design are reflective of Japanese aesthetics. Netsuke were developed in the 17th century for practical use. Today, they are highly appreciated as works of art by collectors all over the world. Let us show you the world of Netsuke full of ingenuity and craftsmanship. Netsuke evolved out of Japan's kimono culture. Kimono lack pockets, so men would carry sagemono, small personal items suspended on cords from their hip. You can see one here, around this man's hip, Sagemono included kinchaku money pouches. Tobacco containers. And indo medicine containers. Back then, people enjoyed decorating their sagemono. They paid special attention to the toggle, or netsuke. This piece here shows how meticulous they were. This is an inno made by intricately carving a piece of boxwood into the shape of a turtle. The Netsuke too is shaped like a turtle. This one vividly depicts seven small turtles riding on each other's backs. Now, let us demonstrate how these were actually used. You slip the cord beneath the obi. Then secure the netsuke firmly on the upper part of the obi to keep the sagemono from falling. Finally, Tighten the cord with the ojime. As you can see, netsuke were practical items used as toggles. In time, people began to create more artistically sophisticated pieces. This was partly due to the sumptuary edicts repeatedly issued by the Tokugawa shogunate during the 18th century. These edicts 
forbade common people from wearing flashy clothing. As a result, fashion-conscious Edo residents put their money into these small art pieces to satisfy their desire for beauty. Ms. Yoshida, who sells Netsuke from the Edo period, talks about their appeal.なれという言葉がございますけれども、作品の中をよく触って可愛がってらしたんだわとか、あの想像もできて経年変化を経てしか作り得ない人工的ではないその色の深みとか触った感じの柔らかみとか長い年月をかけないとそうはならないっていうこと
and nuts. As well as the tusks and horns of animals. He always uses ivory from before the Washington Convention was signed. These small carving knives are his partners. In fact, Mr. Saito has over 50 of them, all of which he made himself. He switches knives depending on which part he's working on. The tensest moment for Mr. Saito is when he carves the hairs of an animal called kebori. He says that he has never let anyone else see him do it. あと逆に言うと夢中になった時にいわゆるあのゾーンに入るというんですかその夢中になってることに非常なる喜びというか分け上がるものがあるんですよねそれが楽しみたくてやるということもありますよねWe asked Mr. Saito what draws him to Netsuke. あのその人が触っても触ってもくれるかそれともへーっつって見るかそれの差で触ってもらった時作家として自分は勝ったと思いますよね制約の中の自由ということが一つの私の気迫フレーズで熱気というこんなあの面倒くさい制約があるわけです
This elaborate piece depicts a historical family known for having been toyed with by fate. The eldest son is throwing a snowball, playing innocently. The second son is sucking his thumb and seeking his mother's affection by clinging to her sleeve. The youngest son is snuggled against his mother's chest. Their mother, Tokiwa Gozen, is actually fleeing from a war with her children. However, she hasn't given in to despair. Her gaze suggests that she is looking hopefully towards tomorrow. Her youngest son, Ushiwakamaru, would become a hero who changes the history of Japan. This tiny six centimeter tall work of art vividly depicts this scene from Japanese history. This ground cherry is only four centimeters in size. Ground cherry berries were highly valued as medicine in the Edo period. Every summer, the ground cherry market is held in Tokyo. It's a quintessential summer event symbolized by the red hue of the berries. The artist has deliberately chosen to depict a withered autumn ground cherry instead of a bright red one from the summer when they are at their most beautiful. The leaves have withered away, leaving only the veins behind. You can see inside through the gaps between them showing the Japanese aesthetic preference for impermanence. Using amber, a translucent gemstone, for the whole piece was a bold choice. It fills in the gaps between the veins and gives off an enchanting luster. The round, glossy fruit is full of vitality. The veins look so fragile, as if a single touch would break them. These mere four centimeters contain a distinct, rich beauty. A sleeping bag, a rucksack, and a compass. Guess who's carrying them? A penguin chick. This piece is made of ivory. The chick's body is covered in fluffy feathers. What do you think this piece is called? The answer is Lone Journey. Once you hear the title, you instinctively understand the piece. It's cute, 
but there's also a subtle feeling of loneliness. This is a new style of Netsuke, one that appeals universally to the people of today, regardless of their cultural backgrounds. Kokonte Bungiku, a Rakugoka, loves Netsuke and told us about what makes them so charming.人物なら人格なりその人のま性格雰囲気で動物ならそのアイクルシさなりその非常にこう人懐っこさであるとかそういうその一つの空気を帯びるわけですよね人間が使うものであるけれどももちろん生きているものではないけれども とても心を通わせることができる講座に上がるときは、じゃあ一緒にあのちょっとお客さんの前行ってね、一つ皆さんのお心を和ませてきましょうと一緒にこう問いかけてで一緒に連れて行く相棒みたいなもんじゃないか